Hi, today we will talk about a two hot topic in the software industry today, especially on the web GUI, the micro front end and the design system. Before we dive through on the main focus of today's talks, design system for the micro front ends, it is important for us to have the common understanding about what micro front end and design system are. The micro front end are independently deployable front end application that is modeled around business domain. It is an effective way to use the domain um, for the software boundaries and some other technique is by using the features to divide uh, front end applications. Micro front ends is a technique for decomposing the front end application into smaller and simpler chunks that can be developed, tested, and deployed independently. In other words, we'll be able to change portion of the application uh, front end applications without having to change anything else. That's been micro front end gives and give an ability for the increment, incremental change and upgrades, independent deployments and opportunities to form in an autonomous team the staff organize the staff organizing an independent team the design system is a collection of the reusable components guided by the clear standards that can be assembled together to build any number of applications imagine that we have a new teams that consists of the designers and the developer when we do have a design system already the developer will be able to develop the page, the new page, or the new model. In fact, the prototype faster than than uh, having to build from the scratch. And the designer have the base for them uh, to do the designs. Design system enable teams to build a better product faster by encourage the teams to develop a component in a straight way. In a straight way because that makes the component become more reusable and the reusability uh, makes the skill possible the design system unites the consumer of the design system the applications and the products around the common visual language it brings in the gap between the design and the developments A design system uh, provides documentation components that have been published into the Living Style Guide and usually we use the tools like the Storybook JS that have uh, an option uh, to review how the component been implemented and also the Living Style Guide like the Storybook provide a playground uh, for, the, for the developer to play around with the components uh, for example, if we have the buttons in the living style guide, then we will developer will be able to click the button, hover the button, and to see what is the outcome by interaction with the components. And the living style guide provides a framework for developments. It is isolated from application implementations. Then the codes will be much simpler, and uh, the storybook give an option for the developer to copy. Uh, the implementation code from uh, the style guide and use in the applications. By having the living style guide documented, uh, it makes uh, the living style guide the single source of truth for the design and the components. Let's go through on the first design system called centralized design system. We will analyze, we will discuss is it that this centralized design system is suitable for the micro front ends. A centralized design system having a central design system where it consists of a core component developer, which is the maintainer, the developer of the component that we reuse by the application across organizations. The way that they use the components, uh, design system component, is by using them uh, by uh, toggling the version in the package.json because the design system will be published, design system component will be published into uh, the package manager control like the npm 
or internal package manager like the Bidasio or Nexus. The change that we make by the teams require for the consumer of the design system to recompile the code base and redeploy their applications or the portion of the front end uh, applications and for the teams to make uh, a change into the design system component require for them to make a PR or the pull request as a contributor uh, their codes will be reviewed by the core company developer and and it will uh, and the comp the core component developer will make uh, a feedback and if everything is is on the green light then the change will be merged into the design system components all right uh so that it is that this centralized design system is suitable for the micro front end and i would say beat no because they will not be able to do independent deployment because um the change in the design system component required for recompile and really deploy uh, of the consumer the applications and the team is the couple because they need communication to make a change between the contributor and the reviewer and somehow they also need to communicate uh, about the change across the team so they uh, be able to have an options to uh, either stick with the old version or upgrade to the new versions but the benefits of this uh, centralized design system is of, of course it's easy to make a uh, incremental change because a uh, consumer of the design system be able to toggle the versions of the design system components the second one uh, approach or pattern is called independent design system independent design system usually use the model federations uh, that been provided by the webpack file and by using the model federation we'll be able to make the design system as same as the application because they can be independently deployed into the productions once it's been deployed the consumer of the design system which is uh, setting up or being configured to uh, fetching or get the design system component through the networks uh, the, the, the change will be reflected into uh, the consumer of the design system without the needs or recompile or redeployment of them however that they always have a possibility or risk for uh, the teams to accidentally uh, push or commit the change that have a breaking change and if they did that then it will affecting all of the consumer of the design system because they only have a single version of the design system components in order for uh, uh, for the teams to avoid the breaking change that reflected into the consumer of the design system then the owner of the consumer of the design system required to make a coordinated release they need to communicate with all the rest of the team uh, to give the uh, uh, awareness uh, about the pr preparations uh, that, that they need to do in order to avoid the breaking chain and on my opinions the independent design system also not suitable for the micro front end because uh, it is has a uh, decouple between the teams to do the coordinated communication between them uh, in order to avoid the breaking change as, and it's and it's it's not convenient to make a uh, incremental change uh, because of um, because of it is a possibility for the team to make um, breaking change and it require for a lot of effort for the testing team to test uh, to to make a test of all of the applications and it requires a lot of the efforts then my recommendation is to use a design system called provider consumer design system the provider consumer design system is separated or divided into 
first the provider design system and the second one is the consumer design system the provider design system have uh, things like the color system that have all the colors standard colors being used uh, by the rest of the consumer design system the spacing system they need to be standards the icons typography and the fonts and they also have the atomic components which is the small UI building blocks that will be used and be customized by the consumer design system and they also have the complex components in the form of the composite components by using the two patterns called the headless UI and the compound component the headless UI is the pattern to provide you the functionality which is the UI logics and the UI handling uh, UI interaction handling handler and the uh, and it gives the maximum flexibility for the consumer design system to decide on the UI uh, user interface look and feel while the compound components uh, the way that uh, they provide the component in division of the components for example if we uh, if they provide the academic component they will provide a set of academic header academic body academic title etc etc the consumer of the design system we use the uh, sorry the consumer of the design system will consist of the customized atomic components and implemented composite components the headless ui um, make a separation between the extraction and implementation where the provider is the one who provide the extraction in the form of ui logics and ui logics and the interaction handling to the consumer of the design system and they will implement the, the extractions and they will uh, work on the look and feel this is an example uh, the headless ui in the react.js as you can see in the red circle those is the ui logics and ui logics and the ui interaction handling methods and properties and we will use those things to develop the combo box and this is an example in the angular way uh, the headless UI in the angular way where the same things on the top they have the UI logics and UI interaction handling in form of the properties and methods the last one is the Vue.js uh, example of the headless UI so by using the provider consumer design system it will be uh, it will give an and faster and convenient way for the teams to make uh, change upgrades and, and of course uh, do a f um, faster deployment because the, de the deployment will be independent based on the team it will not uh, the, th the other team will not blocking the other teams they will be uh, free from breaking change uh, across or a breaking change that will ripple or cascade into the other teams and each of the team will provide their own implementation of the provider design system which is the consumer design system and the provider design system will be used by all of uh, the consumer design system which is the applications by maintaining use of the, the uh, package manager control like the npm Pudasio, or nexus because it's, it's not frequent for the provider design system uh, to, to be changed then it's, it is all right to uh, retain the use of of the version control and if they have the change in provider design system they need to recompile and redeploy so in the summary by using the provider design a provider consumer design system we'll be able to have an independent deployments forming an autonomous teams that is couple and scalable organizations and to make an incremental change it will be convenient and easier for the team that's all for my talk stay tuned and stay safe bye